the mechanic at eight. I'm I'm adding more debt to my debt. So <laughs> it doesn't work. She rolls the window down and she was like, "Yes." I hope everybody heard that I got whistled at. Why do you bring your dog with you at the grocery store if it's to leave it in the f car? It's my channel. All the way from Los Angeles, California. It's 8.43 in the morning. I came to the mechanic at 8. Like they asked me to so I could wait here because I don't like paying for Uber. I'd rather be waiting at the mechanic at this point. So they've had my car for 45 minutes so far. They were like, you can go home. I was like, no, I came at 8 just so I could wait. I'm gonna wait. I have my Kindle. Hopefully it's nothing uh, too crazy. I know the brake pads need to be changed, but um, I'm not gonna change them today. They're gonna do my oil change and they're gonna do, um, they're gonna check my airbag light. And hopefully it's nothing too complicated. You can tell I'm tired, right? 184 bucks. Okay, YouTube. I am just coming out of the mechanic and uh, bad news. I was actually not expecting um, this to happen. I was not expecting to have so many things to replace. I was not expecting it to be that expensive, but here we are. So basically I went for my oil change because the oil light came up. This I was expecting. I was expecting my brake pads to be uh, needing to replace this I was expecting and I was expecting maybe a fee for my airbag lights because it's been on like I told you guys since last time and basically what happened is I'm gonna I'm gonna put you here basically what happened is I need a whole bunch of shit done I actually need my front tires to be replaced even though I literally replaced them like two years ago is it normal to need to replace tires every two years? They told me they were almost bald. And they're from 2021, those tires, and we're 2023. So I know I drive a lot, but you know, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. So they said brake fluid condition is due literally now. So that I'm going to probably do. I don't know how much it is. Actually, I need to double check. They didn't give me the paper with all of the estimate. So I don't remember how much it is. That's convenient. Brake pads. This is, I think, 500 bucks. Brake rotors. I have to change it. But they told me that that can wait because it was like, I don't know how long, I don't know I don't know how much it was but it was a lot and then the seat belt airbag on basically to repair this so there used to be like a warranty on that because apparently Mini is very aware but my warranty on my car for that particular problem expired in November 2022 <laughs> because otherwise it's not it's not funny you know so I'm going to be doing um, the pads, the brake pads, which is 500 bucks. And I'm going to be doing, no, the, the brake pads, yes, are 500 bucks. And I guess the tires are 280 for the two front tires. And I guess the brake fluid is the rest. I don't know. Anyway, it has the, the, the total amount of that is like $1,200. So that's really not fun at all. I it's the end of the month. I'm going back to school. I'm going to I was literally going to be asking myself how I'm going to be paying for that school because literally I just have no money left at the end of the month. Like that's crazy. And I almost finished paying for that previous repair that I did in December last year. When I realized that I missed one day, I was about to make the last payment like two or three days ago and I checked on my account and I missed like the deadline by literally one day and they charged me $176 interest. So now instead of $167, I have $300 to pay. That's where we are right now. So, 
We have a new challenge for the week to come up. This week from today to next Wednesday will be make $1,200 in one week so I can pay for this repair cash. I don't want to be using credit card. It is uh, 10, 15 a.m. I guess. I'm at Costco actually because I need to go buy some stuff um, for myself. I just recently got the membership thanks to Uber, right? So when you are diamond or platinum, I don't remember which one, they offer you a yearly membership for Costco for free for new customers only. So I had never had a Costco membership before, so I actually banked on that and I went to grab my membership the other day and now it's time to actually use it because pavilions is cool and all but it's really expensive bad news but at the same time they offered to do it today um, like last time I told you guys they actually rented me a car for free I didn't have to pay for anything the thing is I don't want to be paying on my credit card so he was like, are you sure? He, they are it's insanely nice. And I'm really, really grateful for that. But I don't, if I can avoid to pay on my credit card, I'm going to do it. Because I don't want to add an, any more debt. You know, since the beginning of this challenge, I feel like instead of going debt free, I'm going debt full. Like, I'm, I'm adding more debt to my debt. So <laughs> it doesn't work. So let's just do that for this week. For seven days, make $1,200 in seven days. Let's go. It's 12, 13 p.m. I accepted my first two orders of the day. One is $21 on Uber going two miles. One is $15 on DoorDash going 0. Point... No, I think it's going one mile. 0. 0.9 miles. So yeah, one mile. They're going in opposite directions, but the DoorDash order is so close. It doesn't matter. I don't think I've delivered to either of those people. Uh, so it looks pretty easy overall. All right, that's the Uber, that's the DoorDash. To refund a few things on the Uber Eats order because he was not answering and there was like literally no replacement. So I replaced two things, but he wanted four of one, three of the other one. So technically I refunded seven items. And now I'm gonna go deliver. All right, she said apartment number three. Let's go there. The GPS wanted me to go through the alleyway. Oh, good time. According to the GPS but I'm gonna go around behind and take the little streets he has a pin number but he hasn't been answering at all so we'll see what happens I've never delivered to that person before this is the first time he's in a house though so um, hopefully hopefully everything goes smooth I'm pretty sure he has a pin number because it has to be the first time he orders or the first time in a very long time to say the DoorDash customer tipped six dollars which is great because the order was not that big it was pretty easy to shop for it was a lot of produce so always it's always very easy for should I go here no it, it's always very easy for me when it's a lot of produce because I know where everything is and it's all in the same area, obviously. The only problem is that sometimes they're low on stock on some things and you know the organic stuff, for example, and some customers don't like 
non-organic stuff so that's the only issue so I actually don't think I've delivered there before but this house kind of feels like I've been there but I don't think so um, so she came to meet me at the gate actually and she gave me the pin number and we're all done and now she was really nice I don't remember the last train when I came nope <laughs> and that's because it's a dead end. I've been talking literally for absolutely nothing for the past two minutes so I was saying base pay $13 I don't know if it's I don't even know if it's gonna stay 21 bucks because like I said I had to refund a few things when I went to replace the cookies for example it said you can remove this item so that means she just wanted a refund even though they had other chocolate cookies just not the ones that she wanted no refund then she had some Sigis yogurt she wanted three of that strawberry they didn't have any I sent her a picture she never answered so at that point they only had vanilla and this is not like I'm not changing the brand for the dairy stuff because people are very particular with that I sent her like a, a, full, a picture of a replacement with another French brand but she never answered and like I said I don't replace dairy without you telling me yes you can replace so that's the order 1159 from the limon <laughs> to the frozen cranberries you know you can find everything at come out yeah. everything was in stock <clears throat> huh? everything was in stock everything was in stock chill day okay thank god it's summer as you heard i have accepted a 12 11 59 order on uber on my way to the customer right now everything was in stock it was only two items seven units three lemons and four packages of frozen cranberries now he's in a house uh, it's a meat at door i've never delivered to that person before so we'll see so I'm expecting a five dollar tip this is so weird because I arrived there and it was a meet at door I arrived there the front door is open and there is no one in sight so I knock on the door I wait a little bit and nobody was coming so it was like I'm just gonna leave it like inside like I didn't go inside but I left the back inside because the front door was open and I take a picture, I begin to leave, and then a guy surprised me, and he was like, yeah? And I was like, oh, delivery? He was like, oh yeah, thank you. I was like, okay, have a good one, and I leave. And at the same time I reach the street, I just like three seconds before I reach my car, I see a car turning in the driveway of that house. And I already delivered, so I don't care. She, there were two people in there? she rolls the window down and she was like yes <laughs> and she was younger than me 100 percent younger than me and i was like oh i had a delivery and she was like yes <laughs> like so angry and i was like well i just left it there and the person next to her was like oh thank you so much and i was like have a good one and she rolled the window up she didn't say shit <laughs> i was like okay you seem a little bit tense like maybe you should go and relax a little bit but um that was really weird anyway like i said base pays six bucks and i think i received the tip for the other order that i done that i did all right instead of being 21 it's 23 ten dollar flat tip thank you very much that was amazing and now it's 2.18, I'm going back to the store. Okay, I accepted a 16 volt order on Uber, going three miles. This customer is the one who gave me the $50 bill cash for Christmas. And usually there is always a hidden tip for that one. He wants four packs of water and three packs of Sprite cans. Uh, this, should be, this should be in stock, hopefully. Um, 
This should be a very good order, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Hey, Carlos, we're done shopping. We're done shopping. So we found, obviously, there's water here, and there is Sprite available. So come <laughs> over and get your quenching water. <laughs> Let's go to the room. Okay, drop-off is done. I'm just making a U-turn to go back. Eight bucks. I accepted it for 16, so there is a possibility. There, I'm pretty sure there will be a hidden tip on that one. There is always a hidden tip on that order. They are insanely good tippers, if not the best. I think the best of the best that I ever had was um, his name is Aaron, and I had it for was it Christmas or New Year? The one who gave me like a $70 tip. I don't know if you guys remember, I remember, but they, they are up there as well. Um, so it is 3.11 p.m. So far I've been having orders quite consistently. I know that Instacart was down. I don't know if it's still down or something, but uh, my the two other people, my friend who does Instacart as well, have had like zero orders in like, four hours so that's a lot um, so I don't know if uh, it's gonna stay like that the goal is still $172 for today and we are we are we are getting there hopefully we can continue making good money I just accepted a $15 order on DoorDash I think I've delivered to that girl before but before her notes were um, tell me when you're here and I'll come down and this one it actually gives a code to come inside and deliver so I don't know um, it's $15 for 22 items if she is the person I think she is she used to tip like $1 so I don't know we'll see she has nothing that's heavy so at least there's that and parking is complicated over there so We'll see but it's it's money i haven't been doing anything for maybe 25 minutes so let's go done she agreed to one or two replacements i had to refund the soda and now i'm gonna go deliver hopefully there is parking not too far away from her building she's like in like a major intersection so it's kind of complicated but um Everything should be fine. We were talking about the submarine that went missing. Um, what do you guys think? There's a French guy in there. I think they're dead. Alright, let's see. exactly who I thought it was and she tipped two dollars so I wasn't too far away I said one or two I think and uh, because I remember this building because every time I go there I have to park on the red and that's what I had to do today as well but like her her apartment is literally right when you enter it's just right there so it took me literally no time at all she gave so this is one of those fancy intercoms that I was I speak about sometimes where if they don't give you a pin to enter like the delivery pin she gave me you cannot search by um, unit number so it's impossible to call the person because you don't have their 
last name unless they give you the last name but every time I had this fancy intercom no one gave me their last name so I could not wait for I could not call for them and they always had to come to open the door because it just didn't work so that's the first time it's actually working it is currently 4 24 p.m. I received the tip for the water and the sprite cans and like I was expecting there was a hidden tip because he tips a flat ten dollars so instead of 16 it was 18 okay so while I was in there I accepted a $14 order on DoorDash for a regular customer of mine for 10 items and um, I just delivered to the Uber Eats customer actually. She came to meet me at the gate. So that does not happen to me a lot but so I also wanted basically the DoorDash customer ordered some Topo Chico right and I was shopping with my friend and the thing is the so the person who bags he is the one of the most unpleasant people I've ever met and honestly he's so young so unpleasant like I don't think I've ever seen him smile like he doesn't say hello or bye or thank you or you even he doesn't say shit and when it's obvious that you have two orders you tell them that you have two orders he will make it a point to literally put all the bags together so you get mixed you get mixed up within your bags and now I'm not blaming him because I should double check as well but I was trying to hurry and basically he put the Topo Chico with where I put the Uber Eats order and then I put it in my trunk this way and when I took out the Uber Eats order that I put in my trunk and the DoorDash order was in the front with me I took the Topo Chico with me and she came to meet me and thank God because she was like are those for me and I was like yeah and she was like I don't think I ordered Topo Chico and I was like oh they paired you with another order so it must be for them I'm sorry I got mixed up she was like no that's fine but um thank God she told me because of I would have given her the wrong stuff 100% so that's this on that I also want to show you guys that it's very easy even for people like me who do it every single day I do DoorDash and Uber every single day very rarely I make mistakes but sometimes I do and that's normal the people who tell you that they never make mistakes are liars um, you will make mistakes you will and that's the way it is just like me with the freaking well I still don't know if it's true but the freaking violation maybe I delivered it to the wrong house I delivered to the wrong house before the thing is if she told me if she had told me it's the wrong house I would have went back but she never I don't know man I, I don't know if I delivered to the wrong house but one time it happened to me I did deliver to the wrong house it was at night and it was confusing and she told me immediately she was like that's not my house so I went I was up still in front of the house so I went back and I grabbed it and I gave it to the right person but um, it, it happens mistakes happen and if people tell you that they don't make mistakes they're lying because it's not true now I'm on my way to deliver to the DoorDash customer I'm trying to ditch traffic right now by going around I hope everybody heard that I got whistled at. Hey, Hi, this for you? Stuff okay. You Thank you. <laughs> All right, sorry, I parked a little bit over oh, there. No, 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 you're good. Thank All you right, so much. have a good one. Okay, so second drop off is done. I'm waiting for that guy to go. Um, so basically, what happened is that they were outside. So I, uh, he told me to leave it at the door. He tipped five dollars so usually it's um i guess it's his wife who orders but today today was him 
they're really nice and i hope that you guys i hope you can hear it on camera because i remember when i did the short people were like nobody ever whistled at you in the in the street because you're ugly it happens to me all day long all day long that's what i'm wearing right now that's what i'm wearing right now just in case because i know there will be people so what were you wearing you know these kind of people granted if you're half naked then whatever but uh still not an excuse to whistle at people i received a notification from doordash so uh, in my opinion that's good because that means that they're you know as a single as a single female doing doordash sometimes at night uh if there were sometimes i did not necessarily feel really comfortable delivering to some areas ooh, to, or to some people so i think them checking on us is actually good but that's funny because I was waiting at the red light and I get this notification like saying that you've been in a delivery area for quite some time let us know if you're safe if you don't answer ADT will call you within two minutes and I was like well it's called a red light in LA yes that's how long it takes um, but then and then you have to go on the app I forgot to take a screenshot, but there are two buttons. You can say I feel safe or I'm I'm safe or I'm unsafe. And I obviously I clicked on I'm safe and then they say thank you, we take your safety very like whatever. But I think this is a good thing. Uh, I mean this area is not unsafe by any means, but you never know what can happen. I mean I got harassed in the store and this is a very rich area so I just accepted a $13 order on Uber going 2.2 miles. I don't know if I've delivered to that person before. Bulk carrots, mini cucumbers, sriracha sauce, lime juice, sesame oil, seaweed sheets and avocados should be fine maybe the seaweed sheets are not gonna be in stock we'll see but um i've been waiting for maybe 15 minutes at this point so why is this dog in the car why so i have a question why do you bring your dog with you at the grocery store if it's to leave it in the car when it's 80 degrees outside okay granted the window is down but the car is parked under the sun. There is shade here. You could have parked where there is shade. But you chose to park under the sun and you leave your dog in the car. Why don't you leave it at home? What about this? Okay, I got a $16 order on DoorDash while I was struggling for that one. So that's the DoorDash order here. And that's the Uber Eats right here. I'm gonna go deliver the DoorDash first because she has stuff that's um, cold and she's paying me more. And she answers the messages and the Uber Eats has nothing that's cold. No dairy. They have no dairy. Dairy in a house. It's a leave at my door and they have not been answering the messages. So that's um that's how the game is played around here basically but um it's not gonna take that long there is almost no traffic right now they're both literally seven minutes away from the store different directions though all right so a kid opened the door for me the apartment is just right here number 26 get going so basically this drop off she did not give any gate codes but there were kids playing soccer uh, inside 
and one of them let me in so thank you very much and then she was just upstairs on the left so it was it was a really easy drop off now I'm on my way to deliver the uber eats customer he's 10 minutes away we should be fine if those lights would like to go green it's always when you try to go fast that you get all of the red lights when you try to go nowhere <clears throat> All the lights are green. So I actually already delivered here. Oh, I guess she's coming. We'll see. Okay. Nice. Last time I was stuck. So we'll see what happens today. I wouldn't mind leaving here. <laughs> Isn't it peaceful around here? How is it here? So, as you can see, she opened the gate right up as I was coming in, and it felt like she was waiting for me or something. And the thing is, last time I delivered her, I was stuck because the the gate closed. And this time she opened it back, so that's great. It's pays six dollars, so we'll see if there is a hidden tip. Uh, probably not because it was a small order. I had to replace everything because she was not answering the phone. Last time she did the same. Like they're following you on their phone when you're delivering, but while you're shopping. They're just not checking their messages. So it's like, okay. So I replaced the seaweed and I replaced the sriracha. Hopefully she likes this one. And that's it. So hopefully it does not go down. Because base pay is six bucks and I accepted it for 13. So there might be a hidden tip on this one. I don't know. They live in a really nice house. I remember her because last time I, I was stuck behind the gate and it was during a holiday. I remember that day. So, um, or was it the Super Bowl? When is the Super Bowl? There was an event going on. Uh, so now it's 7 01. I'm gonna go back to the store. Oh, I almost sprained my ankle here. Okay, 102. done. It was on the ground floor. There was parking almost in front of the building. It's 8 p.m. It's still so nice outside. I'm going back to the store. This pay is seven dollars and I accepted it for 15 so there might be a hidden tip. I'm not sure because it was a really small order and I had to replace the shrimps. Uh, because she wanted like the pre-packaged one with the cocktail sauce and for once in their life on that store They didn't have that so I had to replace with like cooked shrimps, but I don't know. Maybe we'll see. I mean, it didn't take me that long. It was an easy delivery They buzzed me in so I'm okay if it goes down a few dollars. I mean, I'll be salty, but you know, I'm still expecting it so, I was scrolling on my phone and I accepted an order and I think it was $13 and I think it was for 5 miles, 3 items. I was about to go home so I decided to take it because this is going towards my house, but not really. But at the same time, 
I was 17 bucks away from 172 so I just thought okay let's do it and then I'll go home I guess so let's go deliver now so now that I look at it a little bit more so it's going towards my house but it's not going through my house it's going maybe 10 minutes away from my house but it's let's say it's past my house so I'm still I, I still have to go there anyway so even though I'm not I, I don't have to go oh oh I thought it was like a, a lonely dog anyway it's going towards my house kind of I, I actually don't know if she tipped or not because I'm pretty sure this order was $13 I literally, I, I stepped into the elevator to go to my car, I looked at my phone, I wanted to click on whatever, and I clicked on the order, and I just, when that happens, I always try to search for the payout and the miles, because those are the two Im most important things that I have to consider while uh, accepting or denying an order, so I was like, might as well just get paid for it. Um, you know, and I still, I'm still waiting for the tip for my last order as well. So I was like, if I'm a little bit lucky, maybe there's gonna be a three dollar hidden tip on my last order. So then I can make a hundred and seventy two. You know, I was like, you never know. So I just, I decided to take it. Um, okay, why did you? Why are you slowing down? <sighs> That's crazy. Dude literally slows down at the green light. I can't. I can't with those people. I can't anymore. Ugh. But anyway, you have to have good reflexes around here because people don't give a shit. They get out of parking lots without looking. Like, can't you see there is a car coming? It's night and I have my lights on. Okay, so what the was this delivery um so basically she she forgot to say in her notes literally everything that was useful for the delivery so she forgot to say that she is working in a restaurant she forgot to say that it's she's located in like a, a, a industrial zone kind of building she forgot to say that the number is not visible from the street unless you really look because the number is so granted the number is on the building but it's behind another building kind of and it obviously looks like a freaking restaurant because it li it is a restaurant and i was just searching for a building with apartments in there she gave me a gate code and all of that and I arrived there and it's night. It's a zone that I don't know. I've never been here. And I was like, where is this building exactly? She was like, it's the black building. <sighs> so I was like, okay, that's cool and all, but um, you need to be more precise. And then she was like, there is a parking lot at the front. And I was like, oh, so it has to be the restaurant or there there are some apartments above <clears throat> I don't know so I stopped the car on the side of the road the thing is <clears throat> I don't feel so I don't feel safe <clears throat> sorry I don't feel safe in industrial zones at night or during the day so that I was already uncomfortable I know my own limits and this is one of them and there was a car who turned at the same time and this was a delivery driver picking up food from her and she came out with some food i was so confused and she gave food for she gave the food to the guy and then she was like for bella and i was like oh that's you and she was like oh yeah everybody gets confused i was like because your notes suck ass just say you are in the black building with a parking lot at the front and you are in a restaurant like just say that it would be it would have been so much easier because at some point i almost told her i only see a sign for a restaurant and if you tell me that you're in a restaurant with the name of the damn restaurant i would not have been searching i would have known that it's there anyway that was 
that was weird that was uncomfortable let's say um, so this order was $13 like I saw and the base pay is I think it's $6 some, In something meters. like that you know I, I have nothing against her it's just like be clear in your instructions um, on how to reach you you know you're in a restaurant and you know you're probably gonna be there and someone is probably not going to be searching for a restaurant we're gonna be searching for apartment buildings so if you're in a business say that you are in a business it's so simple anyway I am going home I'm tired it's 9 25 I was actually like five minutes away from home so that's good I had a really great day today even if I don't make the 172 I'm really really not far away from it and that's amazing because it's Wednesday do you guys remember three weeks ago two weeks ago one week ago I was making literally 23 bucks <laughs> on Wednesday uh, now hopefully it continues this way for the next seven days and then I will be able to repair my car without using my credit my credit card so that's great in the meantime don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so Take already and I will see you in the next video peace out so I just calculated everything and if this order stays $13 which I think it's going to stay $13 or less I should be around $2 away from 172 <laughs> ah! but like I said still happy about making 170 on a Wednesday that's ah, that was so much needed you know it's like when you've been having shitty oops when you've been having shitty days for the past two months it's so nice to finally finally make money without even trying i went in today i didn't even expect anything i just said i need to be making 172 for the next seven days and that's still what we're gonna do for the next seven days we're gonna be making 170 dollars so on wednesday i don't have to use my credit cards to pay for my car repairs that's the goal i'm just putting it out there for whatever manifestation god uh so that's the goal that's what we're trying to do. No, that's not what we're trying to do. That's what we're gonna do. Period. Let's stop with the conditional past tense, whatever. We are gonna make $170 every single day until next Wednesday. Period. Please and thank you. I don't know why I always doubt my own my own like abilities to do things. I went and bought some tea. Because they don't have it at Costco, apparently. I wanted to buy at Costco, but they don't, so... Uh, but anyways, I know I have said it before. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good night and I will see you tomorrow. Peace out.